Energy BBC and Interclub. GD into Angola playing on the third day of this FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup in Maputo, Mozambique for 2022 and as you can see on the screen both teams playing in group A in this tournament and this is the result so far so GD into club from Angola have already played two games sitting at the top of the table with two wins and zero losses. Energy BBC with one game and one loss. And just for reference, this is the clubs in Group B for this tournament as well, having only played one game each in the tournament so far. But there'll be plenty of games kicking off again today. Great to see three female referees from all across the African continent here, refereeing and umpiring a female tournament. We love to see the female representation. And for those tuning in today, this is the first time since 2019 that this tournament has been, uh, has been put on since 2019. After the pandemic, see we can see the starting five for Interclub from Angola, including Tolifri, Lucas, Gala, McQuack, and Malaji, all in the starting lineup for Interclub today. They'll be wearing the blue stripe, where we've got Energy BBC wearing the yellow stripe. Coach Julian Martinez there on screen right now for Interclub. And here we can see Energy BBC all the way from Benin. Also now just finishing their warm up after having a tough game against CNSS from the De Democratic Republic of Congo uh, in their first Group A game yesterday. Standout performers include number seven, Aku Efetsi, who is in the starting lineup today, alongside Erval Benhazen. Number seven, or definitely number seven from Energy BBC, Aku Efetsi, definitely one to look out for after dropping 21 points and four steals. There's Coach Sudenu on screen now. I'm sure she would have been, he would have been very happy with a Fetse's 21 points, four steals against CNSS alongside Agbizo with 19 points and 11 rebounds. The 20 year old from Benin also having a great game in the first round against CNSS. They're both teams just heading to the benches now last minute team talk before we tip off on day three of the FIBA Africa, Women's Africa Championship.
last minute team talks. Court announcer just telling the crowd. I believe this is held at the university as well in Maputo. And the court announcer just telling the crowd the starting fives for today. See Energy BBC ready to line up. Energy BBC, here we see Inter Club from Angola on screen in the blue. Here's Energy BBC, standout performer number 11 on screen there for you. Ag Bayizo, like I said, 19 points, 11 rebounds in their game yesterday, yesterday against CNSS. So I'm expecting Inter Club having to lock her down on the, on the defensive and offensive rebounds. So here we go for the tip off. And first possession is going to go towards Energy BBC. Now, it looks like we don't have any uh, score or clock, game clock up on the screen at this point in time. But, I'll, oh, there we go. Right on cue. There we go. It pops up. Great jump ball. Great hustle to open up this first quarter. This time it's going to be into clubs. Opportunity to open the scoring account for this game. Nice spacing. Early three ball. Oh, and it's a good. Nice splash from number two, Tolifree. Five foot eight shooting guard. Not hesitating to open a scoring account with a big three. Let's see if Energy BBC can decide. Nice pull up there from the elbow. That's no good. Good offensive possession again. Another early three ball. The Hazen doing a great job on the rebounds for Energy BBC. Couldn't get that second one to go. Here goes Tollifree back to back. Ah, oh, doesn't make it go. It's out of bounds. Baseline ball for Energy BBC. Nice on ball defense from Tollifree. Gets the steal. Two on one situation. Great transition bucket. She managed to find Maddox in the on the fly on the right hand side. Nice ball move from Energy BBC. Nice fake and go. Beautiful dish on the inside. A little bit of frustration, understandably. Couldn't get the good look to go. Now here comes Interclub on transition and they managed to draw a foul. Foul looks like it might be on number 13. Let's have a look at the replay to double check. Oh, definitely body, a body foul there. Now depending on your coach, do you want to give up the layup or do you want to make them earn it from the charity stripe? As Jessica Malaji. Misses the first. So, so far, perhaps not a bad foul if she's not going to make both free throws. But makes the second, gets the shooter's roll. Bit of a heavy box out on the free throw line, but the referees say play on. Current score is Energy BBC 0. Inter Club is 6. Beautiful middle drive again, but this time it's stolen. Nice driven dish, Telefree, and it's good. Apologies, that wasn't Telefree this time. I feel that may have been Italy Lucas. Great drive. There we go, Energy BBC getting on the scoreboard. Beautiful drive and dish to find Bahazin under the basket. Now it's Telefree. Great ball movement here already by Interclub. Finding Lucas at the top. Oh, nice steal. Goes coast to coast. 
beautiful take by Abba Izu. And a steal again, back to back steals by Abba Izu. Here come Energy BBC on the fly. Afetse couldn't make that layup. And another turnover. Some really great defensive intensity here, Energy BBC, trying to get some momentum in their favour early here in the first quarter. Toll free looking a little bit gassed after chasing the ball out of bounds there. It's great to join you here on the FIBA official YouTube channel as well. It looks like we've got a couple of people watching, a couple of people on the YouTube live chat. Great to have you. Thanks for watching. Oh, pocket picked. Toll free, way too easy. Another two on one situation. And then this time she's got Gala to pick her, to back her up with the layup on the left hand side. Interclub just having their way with the transition buckets. Oh, very nice handles. Hands foul called on the ground. Like Beizu with those handles, drawing the foul this time. So it's going to be Energy BBC ball from the side. Still down by seven. Plenty of time to go, though, in this first quarter. Nice little pull-up, Jay, in the middle. Can't get it this time. Gala with the rebound. She tries to bust out. She's looking to help. She gets it. Easily over. Oh, loose ball pickup. Really nice and easy. No one from Energy BBC under the basket was watching. Easy bucket there for Matakwite. Oh, decides to go herself. Unlucky with the air ball. BBC going away from that ball movement that was working so well early in this quarter. This time having to do it hard work. Oh, beautiful cut. Ah, oh, very unlucky there. For Interclub looking for Matakite again on the inside. Nice open look from the top. Looks like a foul is going to be called on the ground in favour of BBC. Baseline ball. Fetse to inbound. Oh, beautiful drive through, right through like a knife through butter. Number 11, Agabizu. Great patience here. Oh, wide open corner three. And again, toll free. She is three from four from the arc so far. We've only just ticked over halfway in the first quarter. Great ball moving on the outside. Oh, a little way too easy pickpocket again. Easy open layup there. Looked like that was Lucas giving herself a head start as well by throwing the ball ahead. Work harder, not work smarter, not harder, I say. Long three, that's no good. No rebounders. Oh, this time there's a little bit of a wrestle underneath for the ball. Comes up to Interclub's favor. Here comes Lucas over to Gala. Gala for three. That's just off the front of the rim. Looks like there was a bit of contact under the basket when contesting for that rebound. Aseni just hitting the deck. Taking the contact on the box out. Oh, as we can see there in the replay, I think there was a little bit of a pinning there with some arms. A Seni coming off second best, but drawing the foul, giving BBC another possession. Baseline drive. This time... 
Agbeizu just losing the handle that time. Looks like we're going to have some substitutions in. Number 10, Gabriel coming in for Lucas for the first time in the game. Also see number 11, Makuto coming in for Interclub. Great driving dish. Toll free again? Ah, oh, not this time. Onto the front of the rim. Great defensive rebound from BBC. Let's see if they can convert on the other end. They need a score. Nice there. Just from outside the short corner. Beautiful open look. Put away by number five, Adjobi. Much better defensive transition here from BBC. Angola does, uh, into club. Don't see two phase. Controlling the tempo well. Foul called here on the ground. Holding foul on her Fetse. So the possession is going to stay with Interclub. Nice hand off at the top. Toller free. Finding Gala. Oh, beautiful. Through the legs. Three ball. But that's no good. Excellent. Offensive rebound and put back by number 10, Gabriel. Super sub. Looks like in defensive transition, Jessica Malaji. Just tipping it over the baseline. Not letting BBC get a sniff of an open layup. But BBC now with possession on the baseline. Hidden with the back screen. Hitting the roller. Goes nowhere though. Instead, the ball's turned over. And another wide open layup here for Interclub. Rosa Gala, number seven, making it look really easy. BBC doing a good job getting the ball up for it nice and quick. A Fetzi for three. That's no good. Not a lot of offensive rebounders though for BBC. Interclub doing a good job, just slowing it down. Ball in the hands of Gala. Back to Malaji. Back to Gala. Beautiful crossover to the middle. Oh, and she finds the dump inside and a great finish. Number 11, Makuto. Right place, right time. Beautiful dime there from Gala. Looks like BBC relying on their main scorers this time. Agbeyizu Agbe couldn't find the bottom of the net with that three ball. Transition bucket. And it's bank. The bank is open for Gabriel. Oh, getting a tip there. Nice pick up there from Timiu. And a nice... Easy bucket there. Looked like that was number seven of Fetzi. Much needed bucket by Energy BBC. Let's see if they can get a stop here. Oh, nice attempt. Instead, there's a three ball. Rims in and out. That would have been four in the quarter for Toll Free had that gone in. Now, Energy BBC with the reply on transition. Really nice bank shot from number five, Adjovi. BBC need a couple more stops and layups, I think, to get within a reasonable margin of this 26 to 12 deficit. Great patience, great feed inside. Malaji just couldn't hold on to it, and here come BBC. They're on the fly this time on transition. Another great bank shot from the block. This time it's a Fitzy. 19 seconds to go in the first. Into club, rightfully going to take time off the clock. Ooh, and I think that is going to be an offensive foul. Really great defense from BBC. I think number two for Inter club, Toller Free. Getting a little bit too loose with her elbow right in front of the referee and called for that offensive foul. Here we see on the replay. Just a push off there. Great defense by number five, Ajovi. 
6.5 seconds to go. Oh, long, early shot from a Jovi. Plenty of time on the clock for BBC, but now this time it ends up being into club with the halfway shot. And that's the end of the first quarter already. BBC 14, into club 26. Been quite the eventful quarter already. Definitely seeing glimpses of great things from both teams already. You can recap in some of the highlights already from this first quarter. Great ball movement there by Inter Club. Definitely working in their favour. Got some stats here up on the screen. Energy BBC from Benin getting up plenty of shots, just not able to make, uh, be, being able to finish, especially their three point uh, percentage is uh, zero so far. But having said that, I think some of their three point shots have been. Not the 100% the best decision, not always open. They're always shooting under pressure. So that's going to make that uh, life very difficult from beyond the arc when you're under that amount of pressure. Hopefully now with a quarter under their belt, they're a little bit more relaxed and they can start making some of these three balls. Looks like we've got some fans in the FIBA live chat from Angola and from Benin. So I'd like to say hello to everyone tuning in. If you're anywhere in Africa or around the world, thank you for tuning in to the FIBA official YouTube channel for the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup. First time it's back since 2019. Pandemic suspended it for two years, but it's great to have basketball back. Beautiful jumper. Just rimming in and out there. Agbaizu. Great ball movement again from Inter Club. Here's Gala at the top of the key. Nice screen and roll action with Makuto. Long three. Great drive. Finding an open shooter in the corner. Plenty of blue shirts under there for the offensive rebounds, but it's BBC that come up with it. Great ball security and patience from Efetse. And that baseline drive, Fetse from the wing, and that's good. Much better offense from BBC. Great patience, great shooting. Interclad still going through. That trail cutter at the top to get the ball reversal. Nice handles from Gala. She pulls up herself, go, tries the bank. That's no good, but instead, we find Makuto under the basket. Great offensive rebound and put back, but she'll go to the free throw line for two. See there on the replay. Not a lot of yellow shirts from BBC boxing out under the basket, so Makuto had a lot of time and space for that O board.
Makuto makes the first, bringing up a team total to 27 so far. Misses the second. Much better hustle from BBC, but it's into club that end up with the loose ball. Looking again for Makuto inside. Great outside pass. Another O board. That looks like it was Malaji underneath. Now Rosa Gala, number seven, just calling for a bit of calm. Pick and roll with Makuto. She's looking baseline, but it's great D from BBC. Are they going to force a shot? Oh, look at that. Just Makuto just taking advantage of that height difference. Huge rebound in the reverse put back. Let's have a look at this. Into club force into a rough shot, but look at that pro play. Loved how she rebounded it from the one side and finished off on the other. Now with a chance for a three point play. Antonio there, just lacing up. Safety first, girl. Make sure your laces are tight and ready. Can't afford to be falling over loose laces. So here we got Makuto at Chad the charity strap. Oh, seems like there's a bit of a stoppage. Here we go again. Three point play opportunity. It's long. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Antonio. Oh, Makuto is wide open under the basket for another two. It's almost like they traded in the free throw just for another two ball. So that worked out very well in Interclub's favour. It's all up to BBC now. They need to find a way to score. High pick and roll here. Timu looking to spin. Gets it to Kunkonu who couldn't convert under there on the right hand side. Great ball reversal again from Inter. We've seen that most of the game that's been working. Antonio looking inside. Unlucky, that was Gabriel trying to take on two but instead gets blocked. Here comes Tia Miu. She's getting stuck at the top. She needs some relief. On Konu at the top. She finds, oh, and she just passes it out of court to her bench. Moon Konu with the turnover. A little bit of frustration, I think, for BBC all the way from Benny. Got some subs in. Antonio is going to take a seat. Sorry, Rosa Gala is going to take a seat. Number seven. Another stoppage in play here. Perhaps something to do with the clock. Not too sure. Referees are going to confer. While the referees are having a chat, let's look at some of the standout statistics so far in this game. So, we have... Uh, it looks like an issue with the clock, because as you can see on screen, the game clock is at 9 minutes 35, and I'm sure we've played more... more time than uh, 25 seconds. So I'm guessing it's a clock issue. Nonetheless, we're in the second quarter. Energy BBC all the way from Benin on 16 points. Interclub from Angola are on 31 points. Here at the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup, kindly hosted by Maputo in Mozambique. Current weather in Maputo, depending if you're Celsius or Fahrenheit. Me being Australian, I'm Celsius, but it looks like it's a going to be a high of 30 degrees Celsius in Maputo today. Not bad. I'm, I prefer the warmer weather, so that sounds lovely. There's some standout statistics so far. Energy BBC... Turnover count is already at eight, which is, having said that, Interclub is already at seven. So perhaps not ideal for either team having a high turnover count, especially before 
We've got so much time before half time. Ideally, you want your team to only have 10 to 12 turnovers a game. So with each team at eight and seven apiece, I expect that their coaching staff will be making some adjustments come half time to help prevent any further turnovers. Oh, it looks like the game's in play, but no one told BBC. And here comes Interclub with a wide open three. Lucas just exploiting the laps in the defense there. Not too sure if that uh, time in was very well communicated, but. There we go, nice and three ball reply there for BBC. The Hans in number eight. Hopefully that will boost BBC's confidence. Here comes Lucas on the left-hand drive. Too easy. Beautiful crossover. Italy Lucas, USA born, went to college in North Carolina from 2007 to 2011. So anyone that goes to North Carolina, you know is going to be talented. Way too easy of a steal there. Another turnover. Beautiful dump inside, Antonio to Makuto. Those two are playing very nicely together today. Makuto rewarded for her steal with the bucket. Ah, oh, wide open underneath, but just couldn't finish. A little bit of a rush shot there from Bahazen. Antonio finds Lucas. Lucas pulls up for another three, but that's way long. Instead, Antonio gets an easy O board and puts it away on the left hand side. And uh, Interclub really running away with a score. And that looks like it's going to be out of bounds. TMU. Just a little bit too close to the baseline and stepping out of bounds here. Great defensive pressure by Antonio. Now giving Interclub a baseline inbound right under their bucket. Substitutions. TMU and Asteni fought number four and number six respectively for BBC taking a seat. We see Antonio at the top. Lucas wide open for another three. That's no good. Another offensive rebound for Interclub. As we see, number 12, Pascal for Interclub on the floor. Lucas drive. Oh, beautiful through the legs pass. Did you see it? Oh, just could not hit the ring with the shot clock expiring. Great defense from BBC, but the showmanship. Yes, please. Let's see this on replay. That showmanship through the legs. Had everyone fooled. Imagine if they hit that three. That would definitely be making the highlight reel. Nice baseline drive and dish from the short corner here. Good take from Ajobi. Antonio comes up with it and here come into club. Oh, travel called on Lucas. I think she was just kicking the ball a little bit too far ahead on the Antonio here to Lucas. Oh, yes. Perhaps it was a zero step, but perhaps it was also a sub-zero step. I think there was a couple more steps in there on the fly for the travel call. Timeout here at the FIBA Africa Women's Championship 2022, hosted by Maputo in Mozambique. As I said, it's the first time this championship is back since 2019 after the COVID-19 pandemic suspended it for two years. Eh, il faut bosser. Moi, je ne comprends pas pourquoi vous voulez aller à deux sur une même personne alors qu'avec ça, vous arrivez à contenir chacune d'elles. Celle, pourquoi je dois avoir chaque fois une quelle personne ici libre en, 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 une, une fois une personne également libre ici. Ce n'est pas bon. Ça nous oblige à tous. You can see quite a contrast in each timeout. Quite a calm instructions from Coach Julian from Interclub. In contrast, to Energy BBC got the, they've let this lead get away from them. Time to lock it down. 
Oh, risky, but now they've got the advantage. Oh, can't make the layup. Getting some decent shots, BBC, but they're just not rewarding themselves. That time was Bahazen with the middle drive. Oh, a little bit too long there on the pass for Williams. Right idea, looking for the post player underneath, but just a little bit too long. BBC. Great baseline drive from Efetsi. She got drawing a foul. Looks like she's drawn a foul on number 12. Pascal. And she's earned herself two shots at the free throw line. There we go in the replay. Yes, but definitely body foul. Great aggression and intensity to the basket from Efetsi. Doesn't make... The first. Oh, lovely to see some <laughs> love there on the bench from Tollefree. And makes the second though. That's got to be a bit of a boof, boost to their confidence. We see a sub here. Lucas is going to have a seat and we see number two for Interclub. Tollefree back on the floor. Proving to be a sharpshooter. Great defense from BBC in the backcourt. Let's see if they can force a turnover or an eight second violation. That looks good. It's still going to go to Interclub's favor. They have quite a lot of ground to follow here in the backcourt. BBC really need this stop. Oh, it's a long pass. Oh, almost got a hand to a Tollefree comes away. Wide open in the right hand side. No basket. It looks like they've called. Let's have a replay. So it looks like underneath Williams did a great job sealing her player on the on the uh, on the block there to open up the lane for Tollefree. But instead, I think they called an offensive foul. So the basket is waved away. Oh, gosh. Easy turnover there for BBC. I think a little bit of a miscommunication with the guards in the backcourt. Baseline ball again now, but this time it's going to be for Interclub. Toller free at the top. Great look inside again. This one is Williams. Oh, it's stripped by a Fetze, but she's going to be called for the hands foul instead. I think you can see here we go on the replay. Williams there with the seal. She had Ag Bayizu on her back. But it was Fetsi committing the hand foul. Williams for three this time. It's long. Two blue shirts onto it. They find Tollefree at the top. Wide open left bucket. And it rims out. Great hustle by Fetsi. Here we go, BBC. They're on transition. Wide open three. Can they get this beautiful transition bucket from Ali? Number 12 from BBC, much needed. Bucket from BBC. Now, uh, apologies that the time and the score isn't on the screen at the moment. But we can have a look at the live stats at the official tournament website. And I can keep you updated with the time and the stats. But it looks like Williams is going to go to the line for two. Really nice slip on that pick and roll. And very clearly... Kun Konu committing the hands foul under the basket, not making it any easy layups here for Williams, so she'll have to earn it from the free throw line. And she misses the first. 
So as it stands, we've got three minutes and 34 seconds to play in the second quarter and the score is 23 to 40 in favor of Interclub. Now make that 41, 23 to 41 in favor. Oh, another turnover. This time it's Pascal who's got the steal. Three on two situation. Antonio tries to find Gabriel underneath. Ends up coughing it up and here we go. BBC is now back with possession. Here's the replay. A little bit too much contact from Antonio there on Agbeizu in the backcourt. So BBC are going to get possession again. And then we've got the score back on screen. Great slip and the easy layup. Agbeizu. The star from the last game against CNSS. Did I steal? Oh, they end up into. Oh, I couldn't quite save it. Gabriel, a little bit too long. Great hustle, though, from number 12, Pascal, to try and keep the ball in play. Way out of court, unfortunately. Got to appreciate the hustle, though. Another turnover from BBC. It's just not going their way in this half. You can see Efetse getting quite frustrated, understandably. Wide open three for Williams, and it's good. Apologies, that was Pascal, number 12, Pascal. Beautiful transition bucket. Three ball from the 45. Fetsy now with the pick and roll quite high up. She, she settles for a three and that's short. Who comes toll free? She'll pull up for three. She's feeling it. That's long and that's going to go out of bounds. One fifty-five to play in the seconds just before we reach half time. Energy BBC from Benin on 25. Into club from Angola on 44. Oh, getting a little bit tangled up there. BBC had the right idea with the drive and dish. It just looks like... I have to look at the replay, but it looks just looks like... They were driving into each other and finding their defenders too, not driving into space. Efetsi on the left-hand side. Too long. Interclub pushing a pace on transition. Ooh, and a foul call. Number four. Agostino Anna on the back of her short there, as you can see on screen, has drawn a foul. Referee calls it a side of the head. Here we can see it on the replay. What do you think? That what do you folks think at home? I think BBC thought that was a pretty clean block, but the referees are sending Anna to the free throw line for two. That's way off, that one. He's very clearly missing the first, unfortunately. This time, much better. Hits the ring, but instead, number eight. The Hazen from BBC and Energy BBC. And another forced turnover. BBC. Still a little bit, little bit out of sync. Especially this quarter. Fetsy of understandably frustrated with herself, but a bit out of sync. They're not really connecting with their passes. They're, they're getting in each other's way a little bit, forcing a lot of unnecessary turnovers. The turnover count is 15. They had eight 
in the first quarter, meaning they've got had second so far in the second quarter. Sorry, seven so far in the second quarter. Okay, Looks like we got five seconds to go, so quite a late timeout called. With Energy BBC in foul trouble, five team fouls already for this quarter. Would be in their best interest not to foul. So the game clock is currently not running. The, the score is correct. So we can go through the live stats. Tolbury with three. Again, splash from the top. You go to the official. Fever Africa Women's Championship website. You can find all of the live stats, including the game clock. So it looks like the game clock is caught up on screen and we're in our last 45 seconds. Nice drive and oh, kisses the glass for Hazen. Nice jumper from the right-hand side of the block. Looks like there's about a 14 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So BBC should have the last shot of the quarter, but here comes... Oh, beautiful drive and dish on the baseline. Last 10 seconds of the second quarter to go. BBC with possession. Gets it to their star, Fetsy. She's looking really nice, give and go, inside block, ah, uh, unlucky. Not a bad inside look by Agbeizu. Agbeizu. As you see their number 11 on screen. And as we head into half time, it is 27 Energy BBC from Benin, 49. GD into club from Angola. Interclub, the most successful team in the history of this tournament, winning the championship five times. So we're going to head into halftime and take a quick break, and I'll see you on the other side.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the FIBA Women's Africa Championship 2022. My name's Jacinta. I'll be calling the game for you this afternoon. If you can't tell by my voice, I am Australian. So afternoon here in the host nation of Mozambique where this tournament is being played at Maputo. It is afternoon there currently. However, for me, it is uh, not afternoon at all. However, it is definitely a pleasure to be with you. So you can see both teams. So today we've got Energy BBC in yellow from Benin taking on. Inter there we see uh, Energy BBC on screen right now. Taking on Interclub from Angola, who are wearing the blue stripe today. Now we we're just finishing up half time. The current score is 27 49 in favour of Interclub. And as you can see them on screen right now, Interclub being the most successful team in this championship tournament history, winning five championships in the tournament history, including 2010, 2011. 2013, 14, and 16. So you'll notice that they've never gone three-peat and there hasn't been a team that has ever won three championships in a row in this FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup. It's the first time that the cup has been held since 2019 after the COVID-19 pandemic suspended it for two years. So it is really great to have everyone back on court this here is one of the group phase games for Group A. We kick off with Interclub, the first possession. Nice middle drive there by Gala. With the putback, couldn't get the putback. Oh, long pass. Good defensive stop, but then a long pass there. Really easy bucket already to open this second half for Interclub. BBC now going the other way. Ball primarily on the right hand side. Three from the top there by number eight. The Hazen couldn't get it to go. There looks like there's a foul call on the ground. Pushing foul here. We see in the replay there's Bahazen's three from the top. Oh, looks like there may have been a push under the basket contesting a rebound. So BBC will have possession on the baseline. Afetse, middle drive on the right. Just a little bit too long. Great rebound. Going to Tikwi. Finds Lucas on the opposite side for three. That's no good. And Afetse comes up with the defensive rebound. BBC another chance to try and open their scoring for the second half. And this time, left hand drive. Agbaizu couldn't get it to go. And instead, everyone getting off the scraps and it's going to stay with BBC, so they'll get another second chance. Finally, BBC open their scoring for the second half. Good bucket for them, nice and early. Lucas at the top, left hand drive. Great defensive intensity by BBC. Bodies everywhere. Needle extra pass to find Lucas on the weak side for three, but that's no good. She gets her O board and it's stripped. Bahazen looked like she got a hand in, but it's going to go BBC's way. Good ball rotation so far. A little bit jammed up at the top. Off the glass, that's no good. Three ball attempt. 
Oh, BBC falling all over each other after the rebounds and it ends up in into club's favour, but they end up throwing it out of bounds. Matakwai just couldn't connect. We see that on the replay. Great dish, but I don't think her hands and her body was ready for that one. On the left, Abazu finds a Jovi. Back to Abazu, and she converts this time. Really nice bucket under the basket. Tolafree walking it up now for into club. Finds Lucas. Lucas straight inside to find Matakwai, but she couldn't. She misses that layup, and here come BBC on transition and Efetsi able to put away that right hand layup. Lucas, nice double crossover, and the fake goes herself, but it rims out. Find Bahazan with a good defensive stop. Now Efetsi slows it down on the right-hand side. Waiting for some teammates. Bahazan's there. Back out to Efetsi. Fake and drive. Has to force up a really tough shot out of balance. Bahazan with the O-board again. She's been great on the glass for BBC tonight, but she wasn't able to get the put back. Here comes Tolafri. She's stripped. Really nice deal. I think that was uh, a bad... Uh, I think that was a Agbezo with the steal on Tolafri at the other end, but seems there appears to be a have a turnover. Can't quite see what's happening. Must be a turnover. It's going back into Interclub's favour. Antonia now with the ball. Mulaji to Lucas. Lucas back here at the top to Gala. Good patience. Really nice on-board defense from Efetsi, but she ends up... Gala finding uh, Matakwad on the inside. Here's Efetsi again on the right-hand side on transition. Much better finish this time. BBC not going away easily in this game. Gala with the reply on transition. It looks like number five. A Jovi for BBC has committed the foul. I think we'll see number seven from Interclub Gala. Here we are to see the replay getting really tangled up under there. Not giving away an easy layup. So Gala now at the free throw line for two. Betsy going on the left. Aseni couldn't get it to go. Way too long. Into club. Lucas now. Lucas tough left hand drive taking on a few defenders. Oh, beautiful rebound and put back. Hard to see the number of what play is under the basket there, but she just waltzed in. I think it's going to be number nine, Matakite. There's that tough shot from Lucas. Beautiful placement there and put back number nine, Matakite. She's going to, has the opportunity for a three-point play. As we see number six, Lucas from Interclub taking a seat. I think it looks like number ten, Gabriel, is perhaps on the floor in the lineup, as well as Jessica Malaji, number fifteen, also in the lineup. Three-point play, way too easy. Score now 35 to 56 in favour of Interclub. Just over five minutes to go in this third quarter here at the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup in Maputo, Mozambique. Thank you for hosting Mozambique. Afete on the left.
Finds a way back. Nice three ball attempt. Oh, way too long there. I think that was a Jovi. A little bit too much muscle on that three ball. Antonio looking inside again to Matatik. Back to Antonio. On ball screen, but she takes the three instead. Just rims in and out. Oh, unlucky. Great rib. Uh, no yellow shirts under the basket at all. Really great hustle from Bahazen. Like I said, being really great on both ends for the rebounds, but she had no backup. So Interclub just another easy, uncontested layup. Yoseni, Ajobi. Ifetse, left hand drive around the D, but ends up throwing it up. Hits the cameraman. Rolls off the back of the head of the cameraman. I think that's going to be out of bounds. BBC going to go in favour of Interclub. She had the right idea there, Fetsy, to perhaps Euro step around Madakite, who was uh, taking a great stand under the basket, but just a little bit too long. Great patience here. Looks like uh, Gala Malaji. Nice right hand drive. Gets the shooter's roll. Jessica Malaji, the big, playing like a guard with that drive on the right hand side. Here's a Jovi bringing up the ball. Afetsi heavily guarded. Cashing the ball quite a, far, a, quite a bit, fair way out of the three point line. Back to a Jovi. Wide open there, nice left hand take there from Oseni, but she couldn't finish the layup. Not a lot of offensive rebounders for BBC either. Really great bucket inside, muscle play in the post. Jessica Malaji again. Interclub doing a really great job in transition, waiting for that five man to cut to the block and hitting them nice and early to start their half court offense. Aseni now. Oh, this is Afetsi. Down to Ajobi. There's two seconds to shoot. Shot clock violation. Great defense from Interclub. BBC looking a little bit disorganized, a little bit under pressure there. We're going to see some substitutions. Or perhaps a timeout. Looks like it's going to be a timeout called. While the teams are at the benches, let's have a look at some statistics. We talked earlier in the first half about turnovers being a primary issue for Energy BBC. They're standing at 19 turnovers so far in this game. We've still got 3 minutes and 10 seconds to play as well in the third quarter. Having said that, Interclub have also got 16 turnovers which on paper would be surprising given the huge score deficit. It's almost a 30-point deficit. Fetsi for BBC with 11 points. Bahansen, number 8 for BBC with 7 points and 6 rebounds. And for Interclub, we have Matakite, number 9, Christina Matakite. With 11 points and 5 rebounds. Number 7, Rosa Garlas playing 22 minutes with 11 rebounds. Which is huge. She's leading all rebounders. Italy Lucas, number 6 for Interclub with 10 points. And Tolifri with 9 points. She's gone a little bit quiet. She's 3.8 from the 3-point line. She had a huge start to this game. Back out of the timeout into club's possession. Again, ball rotating through the top of the key through one of their bigs. Matakite from the high post finds the shooter on the uh, outside. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Looks like there's a foul called on a Fetse. You can see on the replay, nice shot flake and drive by Matakite. Christina, she's going to 
take two shots from the free throw line. Makes it first. And the second. Nice and easy for Christina. To Fetsy. Finds a Senny. Finds a, finds a Senny again. Number six and number 13 for BBC. Both a Senny. Seven to shoot on the shot clock. A Fet a Fetsy forces up a really tough shot. Great offensive rebound bone from a Senny, but just way too high. Shot clock is gone, but everyone seems to keep playing. Not too sure what happened there, because I'm not too sure if either shot from BBC in those possessions actually hit the ring. Now we find Gabriel. She skips it over. Looks like to Gala. No, oh, nice behind the back, but just couldn't connect to uh, Malaji. Great idea and handles them from Gala. Definitely open. I don't think Jessica Malaji was ready for it. This time, Aseni now bringing down the ball, finding a Fetsi, up through Aseni again. Much better ball, ball rotation this time. Big skip, a Joby for three, and it's good! Much better offensive possession for BBC. Bench on their feet for that one. Thank you also for joining us on the FIBA official YouTube channel as we come into the last 50 seconds. Oh, a beautiful dish. Nice and easy for Christina under the basket. Right place, right time. Excellent role player, Miss uh, Christina Madikite. Oh, a Fetsy just shoves them off, but she shoots it way too long. seconds to go on the shot clock. Gala settles for a three from the top. That's long. Again, it's Bahazen with the with the rebound. Finding a Fetsi. She hits it over to Aseni. Uh, defensive pressure. Ends up with a foul. Looks like it's going to be on number 10, I think, Gabriel. Good, good lane pressure, though. Making sure nothing comes easy for BBC as we see a substitution. Katya Antonio is going to take a seat and we see Alexis Tolafri back in the game. Yeah, you can see on the replay, uh, Eduarda Gabriel had the right intention going for the lane pressure, but oh, there's a big miss there. Effetsi, nothing really come easy. But she had to shoot it because that took us to three quarter time where we see energy BBC from Benin on 38 points. And Interclub, GD Interclub from Angola, five time Women's Africa Cup champions on 66 points. Again, we're going to head over to some outstanding statistics. We've talked a lot about turnovers, but let's have a look at the assist count this time. We had a few, I think we had a few more buckets in that quarter. You can see in the replay, Energy BBC getting a couple of really good right hand layups in transition. Yeah, but then they tended to go away from that after getting a couple of stops. They didn't really look to run. Interclub doing a great job of exploiting the zero rebounders under the basket, making it look so easy.
Another great transition bucket there, as we can see. We spoke about it before, Interclub doing a really good job of hitting the post play and transition and a Jovi there for Energy BBC with a very nice three-pointer. You can see on screen there, our shooting statistics. So interestingly, despite the near, the 28 point difference, Energy BBC have shot just as many two point shots, more two point shots than GD Interclub. Not as many three pointers and definitely not as many free throws. However, just having a really tough time finishing under the basket. Energy BBC getting a lot of great looks under the basket, especially when they're driving to the middle. Uh, but when they're trying to finish overhands, it just keeps rimming out. So perhaps it'd be in their best interest to keep looking for those simple layups on transition after they get a couple of stops. We head into the fourth quarter. Another outstanding stat is the rebound count. As we head into the fourth quarter, the rebound count is 40 to 20 in favor of GD Interclub. GD Interclub literally doubling the rebound count of, uh, of BBC. So that's got a lot to say about the possession in this game. As Asani can't make it from just under the elbow. Great hustle under the basket. I think that's gonna go Yep, it's going to go in BBC's favour on the base. You can see, I think it was just tipped out there. Uh, it'd be good if we could see what the baseline play was. Asani, nice left-hand baseline drive. She had a shot there. She looked to drive and dish instead of get stolen. Oh, nice jumper there. Can't make it. That was a great take from uh, number four, Anna. Rosa Gala settles. She goes from the middle drive. Can't get it to go either. Yeah, looks like that's uh, yeah, number eight again, Bahazen from BBC on the rebounds again. She's probably been the leading rebounder for the, her team this, uh, this afternoon. She's sitting on nine rebounds. Let's hope she can make it double digits. Oh, the shooter's roll there for the right-hand driver, Fetsy. Much needed bucket. Thank you to those who are watching online and participating in the live chat on Fever's official YouTube. Long bomb from Tollifree. She tries to hit it back. She ends up crashing into the BBC bench. Hopefully she's okay. Fetsy looking for the foul. She ends up finding a set. A Seni. A Seni manages to get away with not a travel, but she doesn't make the layup nonetheless. And now here comes Agostino on the other end. Back to Gala, back to Agostino. Great ball movement, settling for the wing shot. I think that was Gabriel settling for the wing shot. No good. Here comes a Jovi now. Nice look inside, perhaps just a tiny little bit too long for a Jovi to be productive. Oh, sorry, that was Oseni, it wasn't a Jovi. BBC just struggling to make some of these two-point buckets. Great transition find. Anna to Gabriel. Connecting, Gabriel, right place, right time. Those receiver spots are always super important, no matter what level you play. Always got to be in the right receiver spots. And Fetsy again, shaking off the defense, but just can't make it. Long bomb. Great defensive transition from number five, a Joby for BBC. Making sure there were no more transition buckets. Here we can see that Tollifree, Alexis Tollifree crashing into the BBC earlier, uh, bench earlier. But... She's up and running again, so she must be okay. Probably this just seems a lot worse than what it was. Getting tangled up here under the basket. I'm not too sure who that's going to be called on, if it's going to be called on Aseni or Christina Madiquat. Looks 
substitutions coming in. We've got Hukonu and Agbizo coming back into the game. Asenis will take a seat. And that foul was on number 13, M. Oseni. Tola free again, top of the key for three and splash! Making it look easy. Efetsi. Great pass inside and a high post move back to the bucket. Post move for Agbezo. Pass and fake, and this time down the other end with a post move. That's Christina. Getting some elevation. The finish with the right hand. Going on the left. Good defensive pressure here from GD into club. Really forcing BBC to play quite far outside the three-point line. But foul called a blocking foul here or number nine, Christina Madikart quite. So shot clock reset and possession back with BBC. Bit unlucky there. I think she really ended up bailing out Pon Konu, who really didn't have anywhere to go and had that other defender of the baseline. Nice turnaround, Jay. Oh, unlucky. Great rebounding again, but just can't make a layup three times. Instead, getting a rebound stats up, but unfortunately letting down her shooting percentage stats. That was uh, Bahaza, number eight under the basket. And this time it was <laughs> number 10, Gabriel's turn for GD into club, who couldn't make a layup under the basket. On the fly, right hand side, much better finish this side from a Fetzi. I think she was looking for a foul, but the referees are saying play on. The toll's free at the top of the key. Oh, offensive foul called under the basket. I think that's going to be on Gabriel getting caught up with the post up on transition. Not too sure what's coming up next. Here we see on the replay. Agbezo looking to go herself, setting, but it ended up getting stolen from the hands of Ali. And GD into club, too easy on transition, finding Pascal underneath the basket. Oh, and way too long, another turn, unforced turn over there. Looks like substitutions. Makuto is coming back into the game. We haven't seen her for quite some time. She had a great first half. Pascal, Gabriel, Gabriel the on board to Alexis Tolafri. Back to Gabriel. Seven seconds to shoot on the shot clock. She's going to go herself and spin to the middle. Bit frustrated with herself though because it ends up getting thrown out of bounds. But look, when you're up by 27 points, I think that's okay to shoot one of those every once in a while. Good defensive pressure up the court, making it very hard for a Fitzy. Double crossover. Oh, and a foul's called. Akbezu is going to find herself at the free throw line. I think the foul was called on number 11, Makuto. Makuto. Who is he on the replay? Powerful is battling under the basket.
shot, misses the first one off the front of the rim. Shoot this roll to make the second. So that takes uh, Agbezo up to 10 points that free throw. Nice pick and roll at the top. Pascal finding Gabriel underneath. Gabriel coughs it up. Transition bucket taken away. Great defensive intensity by number four, Anna Agstino. Cross screen, a little bit disorganized in the baseline play. If they find someone underneath. Three ball, we need this. Oh, way too long there. Great defensive hustle and follow up by Ali after that long shot, but she commits the foul instead. See on the replay, just hustling maybe a little bit too hard. So 30 point deficit now. Energy BBC from Benin on 45 points and GD Interclub from Angola on 75. Just over three minutes 30 to play in the in this game for the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup. Hosted by Maputo in Mozambique. Oh boy, it's under there. That looks like Gabriel. I think we're gonna have a shooting foul. Number eight, Bihazen. BBC's leading rebounder this game with 10 rebounds. But it's number seven from GD into club. Rosa Gala with 13 rebounds this game. Outstanding. Great shooting as well from the line from Gabriel. That's going to take GD into club up to 77, extending the lead by 32 points. Not letting up on this full court defensive intensity. Getting a little bit, a little bit disorganized. Can they make this scrappy bucket? That's no good. Nice little drive and dish, and there's Gabriel again. This time on the left hand side for an easy two. Gabriel's had a nice steady impact on this game. Eight points, six rebounds, three assists, and only two turnovers. It looks like we're gonna take a timeout here. Let's have a listen in on the Energy BBC huddle. I was in Kiawu. Écoutez, tu es fatigué, c'est pas un Tu veux pas prendre l'eau. Tu as tu veux plus de rigueur. Tu veux plus de rigueur, là. C'est pas de C'est pas tu es encore sur le terrain. En attaque, là. Con là. Time in here. Three team fouls apiece. Energy BBC forty five. GD into club 79 with two minutes 51 to play. This is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. We're still in the group phase, both of these teams in Group A, alongside Costa du Sol, CN, CNSS, 
from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Kenya Ports Authority. So those three teams, along with the two teams we're watching, make Group A. And once the group phase is played, that's when we head into the crossovers and that's when it gets exciting with uh, quarterfinals and semifinals. Really nice steal from Gabriel. Oh, lots of contact. Oh, dear. And it looks like we've gone down with an injury. I can't tell if it's 12 or 13. It's fifth, number 15. Hunkonu has gone down quite heavy, holding her left knee. Looks like she's in a lot of pain. So I'm really hoping that she's okay. Looks like we've got the medic team or physio team coming on to do an on-court assessment. Let's see what happened here in the replay. Gabriel with the steal. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, probably better at that angle. Really awkward angle. Hunkonu, her momentum. Moving backward at a very awkward and acute angle on that left knee. So understandably, she must be in a bit of pain. So we can see both teams huddling up. Energy BBC going to the bench. I'm sure their spirits are already quite low given the 34-point difference in this game and perhaps not, not shooting their best as they did uh, when they played CNSS yesterday and it, BBC also losing that game against CNSS 40, uh, 54 to 77 so coming into this game spirits perhaps already low but so bit of a blow for them having to see their teammate go down with an injury in the fourth While we're waiting for the injury to be managed on court, we can head to some stats. So Hukonu leaving the game after playing 16 minutes, two points and one rebound and three fouls. Game's back into play with Interclub. Pascal on the right. Offensive foul has been called. Must have been an illegal screen. Let's have a look on the replay. Pascal... Right hand drive, perhaps that was on number 11, Luisa Makuto. Looks like perhaps a loose screen. Ajovi having a tough time finding a Fetse. She slows it down, she waits for the screen. Doesn't use it quite well. Shot clock down to eight now. Nice spin move and off the glass. Agbizo need a couple of them. Love seeing the BBC team bringing some more noise and energy off the bench. Is that a bank? No, that is quite short. Unlucky there. Unlucky attempt from Pascal. BBC now with the transition bucket off the glass again. Bahazen rims out. Oh. Another turnover, Bahazan at the elbow, finds a Jovi. She slows it down, waits through teammates. Here comes a Fetzi. Waiting for that high pick and roll again. Back to a Jovi. Into the corner, trying to pick and roll, but screen's just not set. And a travel violation is called. A little bit disorganized there on the BBC end. Agbizo trying to set a screen on the left-hand side there for her teammate, but her teammate was went the other way. A 
Left hand drive right through the middle and gets the roll. Beautiful change of pace, Alexis Tollifree. Comes Fetsy again, waiting for that high pick and roll as we've seen a few times now. Gets caught up in the double team, coughs it up. Ah, oh, too easy. GD with a great transition. Again, finding that post player running split basket to basket down the split line. Wide open for easy layups for post players on the transition. This time we've got uh, Tia Mio here bringing up the ball. She subbed back in for the last 20 seconds of this game. And Fetsi tries to go herself over three defenders, makes the bucket. I think looking to the referee, wanting a foul called, but it's play on. Alexis Tollifree through the legs, showing off some of her handles. Settles for the long three, but that's way off. No urgency from BBC to get that defensive rebound. Because we've got game, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the end. Energy BBC from Benin on 49 and GD into club from Angola with 83 points here at the FIBA African Women's Championship Cup in Maputo, Mozambique. It's back for the first time since 2019. This has been a group game for Group A of this tournament. You can see the uh, inter flag behind the bench. GD Inter Club is actually funded by the Angolan National Police and it's a club where there's multiple sports in the one club, which is kind of like a European model, which I quite like because it's also an Angolan soccer club called GD Inter Club associated with the team. Final scores and statistics up on screen, as we said, Energy BBC 49, GD Inter Club 83. Uh, BBC had plenty of shot attempts, but... A lot of them just really missing the mark tonight. A huge number of three-pointers from GD Interclub with 23 and only making seven. I think number two, Alexis Tollifree, would have made about four of those seven throughout the game. Turnovers, though, were a big issue as we see some of the highlights.
And as the highlights wrap up, we will say goodbye. Thank you again for tuning into Fever's YouTube channel. Signing off.